This looks lovely. Huh? I want this to be about you guys, not about someone interviewing with the old stories and the stuff you said a hundred times before. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, for me, what this is all about is, is Shakespeare and Company, you, Pan Millis, you're like energy spots for creative types. Remember, art is not eternal, my friends. When I read that, I was 17 and I said, that, that is ridiculous. Of course art is eternal. Of course. What is not eternal if art is not eternal? And it took me years and years and years of turning that over in my head before I reconciled myself to the, to the, to the idea that art, the impulse to make art is eternal, but the work of art itself is not eternal. The work of art, the painting on the wall is not what really matters, yeah. right? What matters is that, is that never ending urge, that, that Walt Whitman urge, the never ending urge of the universe to make something that didn't exist before. Yeah. And if, if, if what you make, if that book that you write never is read by a single soul, you know? Yeah. It doesn't matter. Because You've brought something in the universe. Idea of not wanting to be published or be on anybody's lips, it doesn't interest me. Oh, you're in everyone's lips. What interests lips. me is to me. Paris. Hmm? You're, you're in everyone's lips in Paris. <laughs> but I know that I must write. I, mean, I want yeah. to write. It just flows out from where? I don't know. It's cosmic vibration. It's, not, it's opaque. It's something that we cannot ever describe. It's something that is so... Uh, intense, there's something so marvelous, something so unique. No, it's more than that. It's the epitome, you know, it's, it's, it's something that is beyond us, the greater spirit. <laughs> I think it's, it's sort of you, you defining, in a way, the trouble that I, 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 I sense about uh, today's art, yeah. where, where artists want first and foremost to sell themselves, you know? So they're obsessed by the idea of an audience, yeah. you know, of, well, customers, not an audience, but customers, you know? And, and that's, that's the problem with today's yeah, yeah. art. So I had not only uh, a life full of books, but also uh, of books which were filled with, um, uh, you know, smells, uh, Images, of course. Uh, I, I would see the right uh, church. It was who, 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 which was in the book. I would see it with my eyes. I would hear the noises. I would hear the people talking. So it was already, in a way, embodied, you know. And that's how I met Proust. In, in, in the Cévennes, in the mountains where I live, in, uh, down south in France, uh, we had a discussion with friends of mine, and um, I said, given the states of art and culture in France today, the, the, the thing I, I would advise, I mean, my, my, all my friends, and, uh, well, uh, among those friends, those that are artists, or poets, or writers, whatever, is, Create whatever you want to create and give it to your family and friends and relatives and close acquaintances and be content with that. And that is why I must say I'm very happy to be here today because this is close to this ideal, you know, I, I, I was defining in that discussion to give whatever you do, whatever you create to the people you love, you know, and, and be content with that. As opposed to the, 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 the greed, the ambition, yeah, the, the longing for being seen and loved by an anonymous audience and, you know, and pleasing anybody, you know, as opposed to that. <laughs>